Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to another Mystic Unicorn reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hi, my name is Eric. It is wonderful to meet you. And if you're returning, what is up, guys? So, general love reading for you. Yeah, please keep, my, keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. If you would like to get a private reading with me, just check the description box below, find my email address, shoot me a message letting me know you're interested, and I would be very happy to get you all hooked up. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, Scorpio, we are going to get into this general love message, love story for you. We're going to start with the Oracle of Visions, yes, and then we're going to get some, we're, we're just going to get the general overall storyline for you there. And then we're going to use the Gilded Reverie Lamor Lenormand deck to flesh out some of the uh, uh, the clarification in terms of the situation. And then we're going to dive into the energies of person A and person B, respectively, in your connection using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot and the Golden Universal Tarot. Keep in mind that it is not for me to decide or define who person A and person B are in your story. Of course, if I get intuitive hits, I'm going to share that with you, but ultimately it is for you to decide where you where you fit in this equation, okay? And then finally, we're gonna get some advice from the uh, after tarot, and as always, closing oracle guidance from the love lovers oracle. Yes, yeah, Scorpio. Let's get into this. So, what messages do we have in terms of love to serve the highest good of all involved for my Scorpios, please? Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and a Venus. Okay, Scorpio, you know, your bell ring here was a little timid. I wonder if some of you are trying, or somebody here is trying to play it safe. That doesn't sound like Scorpio. Maybe it's the person they're connecting with. Maybe the person that is connecting with Scorpio crossed a line or has incited Scorpio's wrath somehow. And now they may feel like they have to walk on eggshells. Uh-oh. All right, well... Hey, there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> Let's get into this. I'm going to get this five shuffles for you, Scorpio. So what's the story for Scorpio in their love life right now? This is two. Three. Four. And five. All right, Scorpio. What's your love story at the moment? What's going on for you, Scorpio? What's your love story right now for Scorpio? Oh, Lord in heaven. Okay. Well, uh, we do have this card here. Now, this card does give a level of... It does feel like it's giving a level of grace. I feel like someone is taking a break taking a rest. Uh, the first thing that came to mind when I saw this card was forgiveness or a need for forgiveness. Um, so either this is a situation, Scorpio, in which you ha are dealing with someone that you needed to take a break from and go through a, a resting, a healing period with, okay? Or grace is being bestowed upon you somehow, Resting, healing, rejuvenation. This could either be the person that has crossed Scorpio in the wrong way, um, that is needing to go through this rest and rejuvenation. Maybe because Scorpio popped off real hard and like probably maybe did like a, a, a an exceptional amount of damage. I heard, or this is the Scorpio needing uh, like this is the in, the Scorpio kind of retracting from the situation and needing to rest, heal, and recuperate. Can we get two more cards for Scorpio in their storyline, please? What's going on for Scorpio in love right now? Okay. Another card of a bit of isolation. Scorpio, you may be going into a level of isolation right now. One last card for Scorpio in their storyline in terms of love. One last card for Scorpio, please. There it is. Ah, yes. The books. Learning. Achievement. Okay, I did just hear achievement. All right. All right, so Scorpio. Hmm. Okay, an overall energy here. Wow. 
Okay, we have we do have this card. We have card number seven here. Um, okay, what I'm hearing with that card is transcribing. So Scorpio, either you or your person are entering into a bit of a hermit phase in which they are resting and reju rejuvenating, okay? But also it feels like they're taking time to really understand the things that they've done, the actions that they've committed, and not only understand it, like all the things that they've learned, but make sense of it, transcribe it, or put it into context into their lives somehow. I'm sorry, please excuse my stomach if you just heard that, I'm hungry. <laughs> um, okay. Rest and rejuvenation is key here. I also feel like you might be going into some form of separation with a partner. I am kind of, I did hear a karmic partner. Maybe you're coming out of a situate, a karmic situation. All right, but the big thing that I'm getting for you here, Scorpio, is that you or the person you're connected with is needing time to heal, is about to ta spend time in, uh, about to spend a good amount of solitary time in order for them to really gain the lessons that they need to gain and then like and then transcribe them or make sense of them or place them into their life as they fit naturally or as they need to in order to make sense of the situation and come out of it on top come out of it healed okay all right let's move to the lenormand deck here um and i want to get a few shuffles i do want to look at the f oh come on now i do want to look at the first card that came out card number 47 why is there a need for rest and rejuvenation or for isolation or grace even? Yeah. Why is there a need for this? What happened? What happened, Scorpio? What happened that you or this person needs to take time to heal like this? Card number 47, please. Clovers. Hmm. I'm hearing luck is on your side. Clarify card number 47, please. Are these lilies? Yeah, those are the lilies. Uh, ooh, there's some sort of death or transformation that's happening here. Because with, with the lilies, I just, the first thing I get are like, I get like condolences. Like it's not necessarily love that you, that you would represent that. It's more of like condolences or bringing flowers to like a, a celebration or something. I just, I'm getting condolences. And then you have the compass. So what I will say about this, Scorpio, is that for whomever is in this restful period, this graceful period, this period of, of isolation, it is, uh, luck is on your side here, okay? There are condolences that are needed. Maybe you've gone through a death. Maybe you are going through a death, a transformation, right? But this is whatever restful period you're going into, Scorpio, or your person is going into, it's going to help them re-navigate. It's going to help them recalibrate their compass in their direction forward. Okay, this is starting to make sense. So let's look at card number 35 here. Now, what I'm getting with card number 35, again, is another level of solitary, uh, a solitude, right? But this is also a level of, of taking some sort of high ground, a higher perspective, okay? Learning the higher principles behind something that you've dealt with. Kind of being high and dry, but at the same time benefiting from that, not being stuck down in the swamp anymore. Can you clarify 35, please? This high and dry energy? Oh yeah, look at that, we have mice. All right, so there is definitely some sort of like vermin, some sort of toxic toxic energies. I literally feel like with card number 35, this person, you Scorpio or your person are getting a higher perspective on some sort of deceitful energy, on some sort of toxic energy, vermin, destruction, disease, pestilence, something like that. Some sort of toxic environment is what I'm hearing or toxic circumstances that they were or you or this person were involved in in the past. Clarify 35 for us, please. Birds, gossip, birds of a feather. But this feels like this feels like a low vibrational form of this. Last card here is the ship. 
So, um, this person may be, oh my God. And then the mask, this masks have been at the bottom of the deck since I was clarifying the first one. Okay. There's some sort of masquerade that's ending here. And it's, and, and, and I'm hearing a toxic environment. This person, Scorpio, either you or your person may have been involved in individuals that were super gossipy, super low vibrational. I feel like there was an energy here of this individual going along with the flock, but that, but what the flock was involved with was toxic, was destructive, was um, was was uh, disease ridden, or was just like ridden with vermin, or just just gross, grimy, low down, low vibrational bullshit, right? So somebody is going through a healing period now in order to end this toxic masquerade. Shit, someone someone could actually be going to jail. Which is crazy, which is crazy because that's not important. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. But they're learning a great deal here. Honestly, whomever is going into some sort of solitude, some form of solitude, I promise you, luck is on your side because you are going to have the opportunity to really not only learn, gain the wisdom, but then make sense of it so that you can change their circumstances here, all right? Excellent. I, I literally am hearing someone may be going into a level of solitary confinement. Oh boy. All right. But again, spirit is saying that's so that the toxic circumstances can be cleared out. The toxic tendencies, the toxic energies or mindset that this person is holding on to has been holding on to this whole time. They have the opportunity to fix this and to heal and to emerge out of this a brand new shining person. Beautiful. Let's look at person A in this connection for Scorpio. Five shuffles here. That was one. Show us person A in this connection for Scorpio. Show us this person A. That's three. This is four. And this is five. Show us person A for Scorpio. In this connection for Scorpio, please, Spirit, show us person A. Temperance. Balance. Harmony. It feels like this is probably the person that's going into this solitude, solitary confinement type energy in order to balance out the empress. Uh, uh, ooh, wait a second, wait a second. The three of wands, okay. Three more cards for person A, please. Show us person A in this connection for Scorpio, the four of swords. Two more cards, the nine of cups. One more card, please, for person A in this connection. Is it reversed or up? Well, the Ace of Cups, but it's reversed. Huh. Overall energy is in fact the Queen of Swords. Oh boy. Okay, so no, this is not the person that's going into some sort of solitude. I swear, Scorpio, someone might be going to jail. Oh boy, which is so nuts because like, I, um, sorry guys, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get personal about this, but anyway, um, someone actually might be going to jail and, or, or at least is going into some sort of level of, of, um, solitude. Maybe they're going through a pretty extreme healing process or something like that. Okay. But it does in fact feel like this is something someone has to do. This has to be taken care of. Person A feels like the romantic partner to whomever is going into some form of solitude. Okay? They're in a very balanced energy, temperance. They're in a very unconditionally loving energy. The Empress. They're probably in a very patient energy. They probably embody the divine feminine. Or they represent the divine feminine or the feminine in this, in this situation. The Empress energy. Very unconditionally loving. But the problem here for person A is that while 
they want balance for themselves. Well, 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 I'm sorry, while they want balance in this relationship, they also need to find a sense of balance within themselves. And while they have unconditional love, they're holding unconditional love, they can't accept the fact, or I'm sorry, they cannot look past the fact that we need to look off into the future, for three of wands. And while there may be love and contentment here, nine of cups, Let's be real and practical about this, four of swords. If you're going into some sort of solitary confinement, God forbid if you're going to jail, or like you're going into some sort of situation in which now I have to be made to wait for you to come back, I am not willing to accept that. Ace of cups in reverse, queen of swords. It's not that this person doesn't love you. It's not that this person doesn't want to provide that final cup to you to make it the 10. It's that they can't. There is something about this solitary confinement energy that makes it impossible for this individual to be able to give their cup right now. And thus a boundary needs to be put in place. Queen of Swords. It's not even up for debate. This person is saying, I cannot wait for you. Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, the tower. I feel like you guys were trying to build something. Or at least this person wanted to build something. Wow. Wow, Scorpio. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's look at let's 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 look at person B then. Where does person B stand in this situation for Scorpio? One, this is two, this is two. For person B, show us person B in this situation. Where do they stand energetically in this connection with Scorpio? This is three. Four. Oh, jeez. Is this three or is this four? It's four. <laughs> Or at least we're going to call it four. Show us person B in this connection for Scorpio, please, spirit. This is five. Oop, try that again. This is five. All right. Show us person B in this connection who is most likely the individual that's going into some sort of solitary confinement. Show us person B. Oh, well, would you look at that? The devil in reverse. Yeah. Five of cups in reverse. Yeah. The ace of cups. You guys are mirroring each other. You both love each other. <sighs> this might make me cry. Okay, uh, show us person B, please. The knight of cups in reverse, though. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing, I can't, I can't, I, I love you. I want to give you this love, but I can't give you this love. I can't move forward towards you until I get, I get this out of the way. And the empress says, yes, you are absolutely right. Why did I just hear no love lost here though? I don't feel like, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Who said that? No love lost here? Oh, Show us person B, please. Show us person B in this connection. The magician in reverse. One more card for person B. Okay, two more cards. Temperance and the five of wands. Overall energy is the nine of pentacles. The devil and the five of cups are reversed because this person has not dealt with this situation yet. Whatever toxicity, whatever they were dealing with in life, they never dealt with it and just moved on like everything was gonna be okay. Like there was nothing to deal with here. But that, but see, ooh. Okay, also what I'm getting is I don't think this person expected to fall in love before they had a chance to deal with this thing. Maybe, maybe. I did just hear that, so take it as it resonates. Either way though, there is a cup of love here that they are wanting to give, but they are actively blocked from it because something there's a conflict that needs to be worked out. I'm hearing for some of you a conflict of interest and thus this person remains single. See, but looky here, look, okay, okay. 
All right, so person A, who's in this Empress energy, might be feeling a little vindictive at the moment, might be feeling hurt, might be feeling angry. Because you have, I mean, you have the Queen of Swords there, and she's not necessarily all that mean, but she's really just about setting the record straight and being truthful, right? But there is a feeling of anger or maliciousness with that Knight of Swords. But look what's in between the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords for person A. It is the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Now, person B, overall energy at the bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles. You guys were building something. And that's getting fucked up or hindered or put on hold because of somebody else's toxic mess. Or because of this person's toxic mess. That they never... They never had a chance to deal with. They never took the chance to deal with. Some of you might be angry because this person never told you about this and they were trying to build a life with you. And now all of a sudden they've got this coming up. They've got to go off on their own and deal with this. And you're like, what the fuck? We were building something here. But you know what? No love lost. That's bullshit. That is a lie. If somebody is saying that to you, they are lying. They are saying that because they're angry and they're hurt. And they want you to believe that there's no love lost here. Maybe that's a defense mechanism too, in some weird twisted way. Maybe this person, person A, is trying to get you to believe that there is no love lost here. Or maybe person B is saying that. Maybe person B actually said that to you. There is no love here. There was no love here. Bullshit. They're lying. Ace of Cups. The problem is... They can't move forward with it. So again, if somebody is saying that here, it kind of feels like a defense mechanism. It kind of feels like a weird and twisted way to protect the other person. Even though saying some shit like that could really break their heart. This is going to make me cry. Sorry, I had to pause for a second because I did in fact start crying. Uh... But the thing about this is person A may be really, really upset because they wanted the Ten of Pentacles. And person B is standing there saying, I'm in the Nine of Pentacles. And then person A is like, but you can't do this with me. So what the hell is that supposed to do for me? Nine of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Two of Swords. Hanged man. I will say this. Person B is learning a substantial amount right now. They're in the nine of pentacles energy. They want to send the message to person A saying, let's build that last ten, that last pentacle together, but they can't. They're blocked. There's no reason to do so anyway, I just heard. I will tell you this, man, person B, whomever is going into this solitary confinement so that they can heal and get through some great, get, receive some grace or some shit like that, they are learning so much. But I'm pretty sure whomever is connected with them definitely doesn't want to hear that right now. Definitely doesn't, probably doesn't even give a flying fuck what they're learning. Okay, that's valid. <laughs> Let's get y'all some advice, yeah? <clears throat> Five shuffles. Advice for Scorpio. One. Two. What advice do we have for Scorpio in this situation, please, Spirit? In this connection. This is three. This is four. What advice do we have for Scorpio in this connection? And this is five. Ooh. Okay. Well, would you looky here? At the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. This is a really tough situation, Scorpio. There is so much love here. There is so much love here. And that's why that's why this is so hard. This is hard for me to read through because it's like it's palpable, man, but I feel the heartbreak involved with it. 
So much so that somebody here feels like they, they're saying, I never want to see you again. But that is such a lie, dude. That is such a lie. But it's also a, like they're not trying. No one's trying to. I don't feel like if somebody is actually saying that, I don't feel like they're trying to lie to you. I feel like they're trying to defend themselves because they are insanely hurt. You know, this is not abnormal for me to, <laughs> to be doing these readings for the collective and to start crying. Um, I have a, I have a, uh, I have another channel. If you don't know, it's called Divine Conversations, and I started that channel back in 2018, and in in August of 2019, I believe it was, I did a reading for Sagittarius where I was sobbing on camera. <laughs> okay, like I didn't even pause it to like collect myself. I was literally sobbing on camera. Here's yet another one of those situations. Okay. Advice, please, spirit. Allow your, first of all, this Ace of Cups is absolutely saying, allow yourselves to love each other. And maybe, maybe we're saying that maybe the phrase, there's no love lost here, no love lost here. Maybe that's because you guys still do love each other. There is no love lost. Love is not lost here. It's still very much there. Oh, oh, oh. wow. Uh, advice. Four of Cups. The devil. Absolutely. Absolutely. Advice, please. For Scorpio in this connection, pour out that cup that the devil is trying to give you. Go do what it is you need to do. Get rid of this devilish energy so you can come back and be with this person, please. God, for like for God's sakes, for God's sakes, <laughs> I'm standing here crying my eyes out because of this. Go do what you need to do and come back to this person, please. Advice, Knight of Wands. Yes. <laughs> yes. Three more cards for advice, please. The Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. You guys have a life together. You have something that you can build on together. And the Empress. Whoa. <laughs> Love was not lost here. Love is not lost here. Love was found here. God, I, ugh. I don't want to keep pausing, but at, like at the same time, I don't want to like sob on camera. <laughs> love was found here, Scorpio. True love, unconditional love was found here. This Ten of Pentacles is possible, but whomever is dealing with this toxic energy, you have got to handle your shit first. Just go do it. Stop stalling. Stop avoiding it. Do it. So that you two can come back together and reach that Ten that you've been working on. Whoa. Whoa. Closing Oracle Guidance for you, Scorpio, from the Lover's Oracle. Closing Messages from the Lover's Oracle. First card. Sacred Union. Honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. <sighs> Let's do this one next, then, because they're... Pretty similar to each other. <laughs> Hold on. Let me fix the... Okay. You also have... I'm tapping the card like it's going to focus. <laughs> Did you see that? I literally just tapped the card thinking it was going to focus on my camera. Good Lord. Okay. <laughs> Sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. And finally, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to go. 
I'm going to go collect myself now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, all you have to do is check the description box below. Find my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you are interested in getting a reading and I will get you all hooked up. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But with that said, Scorpio, I love you so much. I really, really do. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Yes? Excellent. Bye.